how does multiple MCAT scores factor into the equation, and, uh, and what, what can a student take away from that? Well, uh, most schools, most medical schools, take the highest MCAT. Okay, so um, even if they went down a couple of points, we'll take the previous score. Now, it depends on what that previous score was when you say they only went up one point or they went down a couple of right. points. You know, mm -hmm. if you're talking about a sub-average score to begin with, um, I always say, you know, your real, your real score is in there somewhere. And mm -hmm. if you didn't do well, uh, d I don't know the reasons why. You didn't. Did you rush into taking it a second time? Did you um, take the effort to figure out the areas where you needed to improve, mm -hmm. to do better the next time? Some people sh should really take, um, you know, several months to a year before retaking it. You shouldn't rush through this process. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the most important thing I've found over the years. Yeah, I think the evidence shows that um, and unless that first MCAT was a mistake, and sometimes that mm -hmm. happens, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. things happen, life happens. Uh, a second MCAT too soon after mm -hmm. is really mm -hmm. not going mm -hmm. to be that different. That's right. right. And, I, and so I think it really is important for applicants to get good advising. The, the typical pre-health advisor understands that. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it's really about making a gainful or substantial change in the right direction, then it typically takes some time. If indeed there was some, there's something real that mm -hmm. needs to be worked on. So having some insight into whatever that might be, uh, and whether it's more in-depth appreciation, understanding, and then translation of one of the core uh, clusters, uh, or, or something else that is important. There are some students who, st who struggle with the format, the standardized exam format, and mm -hmm. we see that. Mm -hmm. Uh, unfortunately, and that is a, you know, I think, and to some degree has been a major challenge to diversifying uh, our, our, our medical schools, right? Mm -hmm. But that's a, that's a different issue, and so the, you know, the resistance of particularly that verbal uh, mm -hmm. to whatever, uh, you know, uh, might be considered a, a real intervention is very difficult, particularly for applicants for whom English is not the first Exactly. Language, right. Mm -hmm. So we, mm -hmm. we know that, mm -hmm. but most medical mm -hmm. school commi uh, understand. committee understand that. So it is important to understand what uh, that issue might have been on the first time around, uh, cool. and really work on whatever that is, uh, and, and work on, on advisement uh, before taking it the second time. Mm -hmm. And I'll just I'll just add that uh, you know when I when I worked with students uh, as an MCAT teacher for a number of years, this was a topic uh, that came up. You know, frequently, um, not that my students ever had to take their test over again, but uh, you know, <laughs> <Of course not. laughs> but in the course not of that they told you, not that they told me, <laughs> <laughs> but in the course of you know, in the course of advising students, it, it always came down to well, what do you understand at this point, having taken the test once, <clears throat> to be where you continue need to improve? In other words, have you taken the time to really? understand the basis of your performance and and of course you can't you don't actually get your exact test uh, that you took so you have to extrapolate from your practice experience yes. mm -hmm. and has the student engaged in that critical thought and assessment of well where what are the patterns of my behaviors or my of, or my test scores leading into test day and what have i done to change my behaviors or what have I done to address this deficiency or this area of weakness, this opportunity to improve? And that takes time. That takes a lot of time. And, and students want to rush through that second attempt of the test because that's, the big, that's a big hurdle to applying or to getting into med school. But if the test is telling you, to a certain degree, you're not ready for any number of reasons, then do yourself the favor and listen to what the test is telling you and give yourself the time to go back and, and work on those areas where you can improve, mm -hmm. get the performance that, uh, you know, that, that facilitates your admissions to med school because then you can, you can be by and large secure in your, you know, in your likely success in, in med school once you're in. The, the, the message in, uh, in Jeff's uh, statement is don't apply to medical school until you're ready. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Right? And that yep. includes Absolutely. taking the MCAT. I know there, there, there appear to be many students lining up to rush through <laughs> the MCAT before this year is mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. um, that, is, that is not the way to put the best 
packaged together. Mm -hmm. If it happens that uh, everything is in order uh, and, uh, and the applicant is ready to take and su to successfully take the MCAT in 2014, then great. But if that's not the case, that, that is a, an ultra mistake. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, mm -hmm. I agree wholeheartedly with personal, from personal experience, quite <laughs> honestly. I, I rushed. I did a post back, but in my post back, I wanted to do it all in a year. And that was miserable. I took the MCAT without having completed organic chemistry. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, that <laughs> was the biggest mistake I could have ever made because I wanted to rush. I didn't, I had already taken four or five years off. I didn't want to take more time off. Big mistake. And I, wish I would have listened to my advisors because mm -hmm. they said the same thing and I was like, no, I know better. So I hope the students out there who are listening, mm -hmm. we are all act actually all similar and none of us should rush regardless mm -hmm. of how we th mm -hmm. might think we're different than everyone else. Yeah. We are not and mm -hmm. rushing right. is bad news. Right.